Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon tried surfing and learned how to scuba dive. And I have to say, it really is a refreshing change from Asia. As much of a fantastic time I've had in Asia, it really is really quiet and peaceful here. For a city in Australia, it's really, really pleasant. Much more easy going, a lot less rushed, and things like traffic signals mean something. You know, you have to stop at a red light, it's not optional. Lyndon has arrived in Australia and is preparing to collect Basil in time for an epic desert race. One thing that I'm not enjoying is the price. I think I've spent the same today in one day in Darwin than I spend in a week in Asia. I'm not sure what that animal is, I've not seen it before. Hopefully it's not gonna bite me or anything. What, what are you, mate? A weird looking thing. <laughs> Tomorrow's the big day. I try and extract the bike from customs and get it through quarantine, etc and hopefully hit the road and make it to the Fink Desert Race. Adventure Spec have sent all my gear, tyres, clothing, helmet, gloves, goggles, everything, boots to the Fink. Let's hope tomorrow goes to plan and looking forward to the Fink Desert Race. Well, this morning I got a phone call to say that the container was not quite ready to get the bike, so I decided to come down to the museum. I'd heard it was very good here, so... I'm going to go find some, some more stuff out now. I thought it would be very interesting to try and get a bit better understanding of some of the creatures that live in Australia. Snakes, reptiles, all those kind of things. And the dangers that they possess to a human. Christmas Eve, 1974, um, Cyclone Tracy basically wiped out the city of Darwin in Australia. Everyone was evacuated um, and it just destroyed the place. It's a pretty amazing story. The people of Darwin rebuilt the city and here it stands again today. So I'm just going to go have a look. You can see here the pictures of uh, Fanny Bay in Darwin before, just after the cyclone, everything's just destroyed, smashed to pieces and then uh, a number of years later fully rebuilt. Aeroplanes at the airport, the cyclone completely destroyed. There's a sound booth here um, with some sound recordings from during the cyclone. I'm going to go inside and have a listen to what it was like. It sounds terrifying. You can just hear all the objects clashing. And not like a short wind, just like a constant 200 mile an hour bashing. Time to collect Basil. Just a few minutes away from getting Basil. Just waiting for the quarantine officer to come and inspect the bike. For me to ship my bike from Dili to here probably costs more than it cost me to do the same distance from Tokyo to Bangkok with the bike. So the shipping charges vary all over the world wherever you are. I'm from the Department of Agriculture is here. I just had a chat with him about what we need to do and what we need to look for. process and they're looking for soil seeds grass seeds anything open my tent out everything I'm so pleased 
that I went through a massive effort to clean everything. Really intense process. Anybody coming to Australia, make sure you absolutely mint your bike. I mean, or whatever it is you're doing here. It has to be like brand new. Really go to town. It's no joke. That's it folks, all clear and ready to go. Lyndon and Basil are now set for tomorrow's long journey through the Australian outback where they'll head south to Alice Springs for the Fink Desert Race. Morning folks, it's six o'clock in the morning here in Darwin and just about to set off on the 1500 kilometre journey to Alice Springs. I don't really want to ride in the dark. Dawn and dusk in Australia is a really dangerous time to ride. Problems with animals jumping on the road. So get out of the city this morning and then just head south all the way on the Stuart Highway right through the middle of, uh, of Australia. So that's it, 1500 kilometers to go. Ah! Yeah, long ride ahead. Looking forward to getting to the thing. See what I'm gonna see on the way. Never been to Australia before. Uh, riding right through the outback, so I imagine it's going to be pretty desolate. Keep him out for animals and things. I haven't done any off bike building because I'm trying to get there, so I'm saving time. Just wanted to show you one of the road trains. There's loads of road trains out here. We have the Manchester road train. So you need to be sure that there's nothing coming because this. Let's go for it. Here we go. Stop for fuel at the halfway point, roughly. 759 to go. 697 done. Almost 1500 kilometers. Day. Big day. Meet up with Eddie Meek, the only other British rider that's been doing the event. Rider from England, doing the event. Kindly offered me a bed in the hotel, so that's good. And it's just about pulling to Alex Spring. There we are, morning has broken. Alice Springs. Um, there's the pit with the uh, tyres and stuff arrived yesterday so it's really nice to have a decent bed to sleep in uh, but it's now time to open some boxes and see what we've got it's like Christmas got a new seat go check that out nice bit of embroidery on my seat from James Vinasco Braces. Nice pair of new gloves. Yeah. Meanwhile, doing some work. A bit of pink preparation, fitting some new tyres, checking the valves, doing the oil, all that usual stuff. Should be good to go in a few hours. The day of scrutineering has arrived. Lyndon is preparing Basil for another inspection. Of course, nothing's ever straightforward. Um, I've got a problem now with the fueling on the bike. It started yesterday. Um, I thought it was just an electrical problem with maybe the plug cap or something. I've checked all of that, but it must be fueling related. It's, it's all hanging on the revs, so I'll go try and fix that. Do without on the day that the bike has to go to scrutineering. But to do what we can. Let's take her out and have a look. What's going on? If it's not this, I don't know what it is. So, so I found the problem um, with the bike. The diaphragm on the carb slide has disintegrated and gone through the engine. So I need to find one today. Guys and girls. This is why you carry a full carb rebuild kit with you. 
diaphragm that's split, I have a new one. Next time on Races to Places, it's time for an epic desert race.